There's also, uh, I guess since we're talking about side content, there's also one extra thing as well. Um, I think when you beat the game, the game, like, tells you, oh, pray, press, like, L and R on the start screen and you can play as Luigi or something like that. Um, and, yeah, that's the thing, you can play as Luigi in the main game. As far as I understand, he doesn't play any differently, it's just that you're playing Luigi. So it's not like, don't expect, like, Galaxy kind of Luigi where he's, like, he's slightly faster and jumps higher. Uh, it, it's basically just a, a Mario... It's basically a Mario, like, reskin, more or less, so... Yeah, I guess if you really like Luigi, you can replay the game with him. Uh, so... You know, that's the thing. Yeah, this game has some pretty good side content, I'll say. Like, the minigames alone, I think, makes it worth looking into. Right, let's keep this trend going. Yeah, because like, how these work... Ah. Yeah, the, mu the mushrooms are still... The, the mushrooms and the general like power-ups and stuff are still working on normal physics I believe so they're just gonna instantly fall back down oh goodness like they like they normally would on land so yeah when you hesitate a little bit it's you you're most of the time you're just not gonna get that power up at that point dang it hey remember that whirlpool in the uh, what was it? Um, I think it was, yeah, it was Die Die Ducks. Yeah, have a, let's have a whole level based on that. The way the coins flicker in that bubble is really distracting. Can we get any lives from this? Ah. Come on. Here we got one. Two. Three! Alright, that's good enough. Okay, we get another one. Oh! Okay, well, at least we didn't hit. At least we didn't get hit. I'll take that. Oh, oh, oh. Don't ask what that was. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh. Yeah. These guys are no bloopers, so I can live. But yeah, the these cheap cheeps are actually trying to go after you this time, so they're a little bit more threatening. Uh, but still, nothing you can't handle. There's a giant one right there. I swear we always miss something in these water levels. Like, it's just an ongoing trend at this point. So I guess we're doing this again. As you do. Nothing. You know, that actually looks like a, a one of those secret coin areas in Mario 1. Where you, like, you go to an underground area and it's just like coins for days. Oh, I didn't think it would actually reach me. Okay. Is there going to be something down here? Okay, okay. Those blocks... Okay, at least they had those blocks there. That, that's something, at least. Alright, All right, that didn't take too long, so I can't complain. Yay!
Oh, we're almost done. Cool. Where the Eddie secret exits here? <laughs> Ice level? Okay. I haven't seen a, an area that would really make sense for a secret exit anywhere in this world. I'm gonna have to look back and see if that's the case because I'm pretty sure I'm like I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be at least one secret exit in every world. I mean, I'm, I could be wrong. Yeah. Like I'm, I I think that in in Mario Wii, like with the exception of World Nine, obviously there's a secret exit in every world there. So that's kind of odd that this one doesn't have it. Unless I'm mistaken. But like, okay. Yep. Yeah, unless I'm mistaken, let, 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 let's take a look here because yeah, this is just all the main pathways. Can't see anything off to the side. Yeah, I can't see it, okay. I mean, I'll, I'll check a video to be sure when we're done recording, but yeah, I don't th think there's anything here. Which is very odd. Not necessarily bad, mind you, like... Yeah, it's one less thing to uh, do, I guess, but... You know. I'd at least expect, like, w like a cannon to World 8, maybe? I don't know. I guess that'll be a little bit redundant because this is the if you're not doing all the worlds like I am, this is a last this is gonna be like the last world before World 8, so it's like eh, you're just skipping some levels. And I guess they didn't want you to do that. So, you know, that's the thing. But still. Just kind of intriguing. Right, just grab this please. Uh, I'm gonna have to use a shell, aren't I? Because that's clear. That's that's a that's gonna be a death pit. I guarantee you. Yeah, the, the, this is kind of funny, like, um, there's only been like two or three canyon levels in this world, um, so that's different, I guess. Alright, let's just grab this, ignore you, and, uh, try and aim this right, nice. Okay, I'd like to get a mushroom, please. Nice. Cool. Cool. Try this again. <laughs> All right, get rid of you. Okay, I barely got that, but I'll take it. Careful here. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, hi. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. That happened. Oh. Alright.
Yeah, mushroom. I'll, I'll take it. Okay, so... I'm definitely going to want to go back. So it's going to be... Left, right, middles. And... This is going to go straight up, right? Or just do that, okay. Let's try this one. Oh, just choose me up here, okay. That was a waste of time. So usually, like, sometimes when that happens, uh, when there's, like, three pipes that shoot you out, one of them is gonna shoot you up to, like, a pipe or something like that. Yeah. Uh, apparently not, in that case. Sometimes they do. And I can just... I don't need no stinking shell for this, I can just slide in. Oh, okay. Those blocks just gave up on life, I guess. Ah. get more than two or four like if were yep wait a bike wait oh it's just one of these levels I'm pretty sure we okay I don't think we've seen chain chumps before but I'm pretty sure we've seen these platforms can I do this oh I can but careful Yep, you can, uh, do that. Which you need to do that sometimes to get star coins. I don't know about, I don't know if you need to do that in this game necessarily, but you definitely need to do it in the console ones. Or maybe it's just in Luigi U. Like, I'm pretty sure it's in, in at least Mario U. Uh, could be wrong. It could be... Wrong about that, but I don't know. Again, it's been a while since I played these games, so my memory's a little bit foggy with some of the details, but I do remember like specific uh, details like that. Unless I'm mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that was the case. Alright, I see what to do. Actually, yeah, I need to chill. Can you not fall off? Oh. I help I hate the stupidity of the Koopas sometimes. I can use this one, I guess. Maybe. Can I still spin with you? No. Ugh. Okay, at least they respawn. No! The chain chomp's not gonna work because he's way too he's all the way down here, so. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try that. Alright, so just stomp on this guy and then quickly grab his shell. Or jump on him again. Yep, there we go. Oh my goodness. Oh! Alright, that works too. Well, that makes sense. Another trend in this playthrough. <laughs> Overthinking how to get a star coin. I mean, to be fair, that wasn't as outlandish as some of the other things I've tried to do. That actually looked like it could have been the, the uh, solution. But you know, still. It's kind of interesting how the... The story of like how the chain chomp came to be is like how Miyamoto one day got chased by like a dog or something so he just made a really the weirdest looking dog ever it's like 
Yeah, I, I'd probably run away too if I was... It, well, I, I'd probably be get scared too if I was getting chased by a dog like that looked like that. There's, there's something up there. I know how you work, game. Okay, no, just jump from her. Right, I'm gonna need to land on that guy. And then... What? How in the... Well, okay, if I can just get to the platform and just bash the blocks manually, that would work too. Because that P-block is in the most awkward position ever. Ugh. I get this is World 6 and all, but like, that just doesn't feel right. That feels like ROM hackery, to be honest. <laughs> ROM hackery. Harry 2018. Cool. I guess we're doing this now. Sure, why not? Just end the level with a bunch of... Th this game is suddenly, like, in love with uh, pipe cannons. I don't know why. Nice. Not the top, but... Oh, okay, cool. If it's lies, we can quickly do that. Sure, why not? Let's see if we can actually get something decent. We've got some leftover toad houses in case we need it for the last two worlds, so that's good. this. I'm not gonna- okay. Ah, oh, okay, okay, I'm not- I'm not gonna be upset about that. That- that was really good. Alright, castle time. Let's do this. Alright. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, okay. Okay. Shell time. The game's doing a lot of those kinds of star coins as well, I've noticed. I mean, it did it. Did these kind of things before, dang it. But. Now it's just kind of doing it. a ton. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a simple action, and we've been putting. a slightly more dangerous scenario. Scenarios with it over time So you know Gradual difficulty progression I'm still baffled by that p-switch thing though like that doesn't feel like gradual difficulty that just seems like Randomness, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It just seems off like it doesn't seem right Whatever. I think you guys get the point. Can we please, like, not die horribly? <laughs> that would be nice. Oh my goodness. Oh man. 
I like how it has to make that sound when it goes into the lava as well. Alright. Let's plan this out this time. Okay, I'm gonna have to use the Cooper on the other side. That one's just too sketchy. At least we're just getting a bunch of fire flowers, I guess. Even though it doesn't really mean anything. I'm just gonna hold into one of you. That guy over there, because he's closer. Alright. Uh. Nice. Wait. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, did I just kill the Poodaboo? Because that would have been kind of hilarious. No, they, they can't die. Well, maybe a star, but, you know, either way. Uh, yeah, my bad. Alright. Yeah, this, this game's castle thing ain't half bad. Yeah. Oh, come on. I can definitely wall jump off that. Or at least just get up there. <laughs> There's gotta be something up there. Yep. You can't fool me, game. Oh, oh. Nice. Still a little bit more left. Very simple platforming, but whatever. And we're there. Ooh, fancy. Oh, is this like that, that weird turret thing? Oh. Okay, this is a thing. How do I fight you again? I honestly don't remember this fight too well. The only- I just remember that this fight exists. <laughs> okay, so he goes ballistic after a hit. And then adds a cannon on top of what you already had. Can I just, like, ride him? Uh, okay, now there's three of you. Alright. This is a- this is a very weird boss, I gotta say. Oh. Oh, nope. Ah, he like pushes me off. If I touch it, like touch the uh, cannons, like I just get bounced off. Yeah, let's just stay up there. Oh. Yeah, this seems like a boss that could be over really quickly if so you knew what you're doing. Which I clearly do not. Is he done? Nice. Nice. Okay. A uh, creative boss, but... Meh. Execution-wise. It just felt kind of sloppy. Alright. This is the last world, but we're not gonna do that because World 7 is calling. Even though Peach is not here. <laughs> Let's just do that. Oh, oh wait. Let's check. Stockholm's complete. Nice. 
All right, let's do this. What is Cloud World in this game? Well, Cloud World usually has platforms like this and these kinds of platforms, I guess. And obviously a lot of clouds. <laughs> that goes without saying. A lot of uh, risky jumps you want to get uh, power-ups. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, okay. I jumped the gun. I jumped the cloud. I, I don't. I don't know, dude. Yeah, they do use the same track a lot. Uh, to be quite honest, in these games. But I do think at least the tracks they do have are decent. They're not great, I guess. Well, some of them are pretty good. I like the castle theme, the main world, uh, the main overworld is pretty nice. Um, some of the tracks I can't think of off the top of my head are decent. Like, it's a decent soundtrack. Um, but, you know, it's probably not something you're, you're going to listen to outside the main, outside of the main game. Or maybe you do. I don't know. Musical tastes are going to be different for every person. But I think it's a, a perfectly serviceable soundtrack. And, uh, you know, it's harmless. My opinion is not much different from the other games, really. Like, the, the soundtrack of the other, for the other new games are, uh, yeah, they're good. Not amazing, necessarily, but they're good. Right. Whee! But yeah, like, just... Man, they're going back to the whole, like secret worlds thing like I had no idea how to get to the I don't even know if I said this already but like um I'll just be quick in case I have but like I I just remember like being so confused on how to get to these two worlds and when I did I was like oh man more levels to play this is awesome and we missed the second star coin apparently but yeah it, it was a really cool like, thing, and yeah, I like it. It's really cool. So I guess we're gonna have to backtrack. That's fine. Also, fire chomps. I think that's what they're called? Wait. Can you, like, yeah. I believe the fire jumps are, uh, uh, first appeared in, I want to say Mario Frey. And I can't believe I, no. Ugh, that was a waste. No, okay, 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 cool. Yeah. Yeah, just like Mario Frey, I believe, every time they shoot a fireball, the tail gets shorter because obviously the the fireball the shooting comes from the tail itself. So, yep, eventually they're just gonna have nothing to shoot you with. They can be a little bit no a little bit annoying to jump on, because you know some you might hit the fireball hitbox, but they aren't too bad. But they they usually place them in pretty annoying spots though when there's like really tight platforming to do. So, you know you make the most, you, you make a, uh, an enemy that in concept isn't too annoying to deal with in an area that would just make him annoying to deal with, uh, just, yeah, I don't know, like, I think it's, I think it's clever. You put, place an enemy in, in a environment that makes, 
that makes it a little bit more annoying than if, if we were in just some regular old level, you know? That's all I want to say. Okay, where is the star coin at? Because this is- okay, this pipe leads to the next- yeah, it just leads to this area, so, uh... Yeah, we're gonna be missing something. I'm not sure what. Because I, I don't want to jump off at any point. I don't feel like I should because it's just going to be like death. But there's clearly something before the first pipe. So... Follow this block. Uh, let's follow that block. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I get it now. I was supposed to follow that. Or, like, jump on it. So whenever I see a flying block, I'm just gonna jump on it. Ah! Dang it, I should have done that earlier. Oof. I've done it dumb. Oh, I could have done it the normal way, but... Yeah. Okay, is it this one? Is this the right block? I think it is. Alright. Just put the controller down. And just wait. Yay! Mister. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I, I tried to. Uh, whatever. I tried to get on the. Hit the block. Okay, let's get these coins. Yeah, the, the, the coins are like. You have to, like, touch once to make them appear. Are really weird. It doesn't really add anything. It just makes it so you have to go there twice. There's nothing really to complain about, but... Uh, I thought I would go to the other side. It's just, it, it's just something that's always been a little bit weird to me. They just seem a little bit pointless. Oh, wait. Because I didn't go to where the checkpoint is, we never actually hit the checkpoint. So if I die, we're gonna have to do it all again. Oh! I didn't know they did that. Okay. Huh. You know, I just thought of something. I love how um, 3D Land and World don't have a triple jump, yet... And, and uh, like how it's and it's you know how it's like a 3D Mario game. Oh, well, let me rephrase that. It's like a 2D Mario game in 3D. Um, but I find it f kind of hilarious how <laughs> the new Super Mario Bros. games that are actual 2D Mario games have the triple jump. That's kind of hilarious, actually. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe I didn't think about that until now. It's odd. I mean, you, the level design in 3D Land and World makes it, uh, well, 3D Land especially, uh, like, makes it so you don't really need a jump like that, but, you know, it's still kind of weird how it's like, trying to be a 2D game, yeah, it doesn't have the triple jump. Yet the actual 2D games have it. Like, it's just kind of odd. Wow. Alright then. <laughs> Whatever you say, Nintendo. 
Ghost house. Wait, is it? There could be a secret exit here, because that, 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 there could be like a pathway down and then to the right, to some place, but like... I don't know. 